everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site today doing carpentry up in the upstairs bedroom, just wall boards, framing and a door and stuff like that. But I don't want to talk about carpentry today. What I want to talk about is the actual global pandemic that's spreading across the globe right now, COVID-19. Uh, if you've been watching the series since the beginning, you recall that there was kind of, you know, the, the series called Project Homestead, Little House of Quarantine. There was sort of a fictitious possible pandemic threat at the beginning of the series. I haven't really touched on it much during the series. I put that in at the beginning to add a little bit of drama, some interest to the series, but there's been plenty of real drama, uh, you know, since the very beginning. People not showing up for work, contractors getting sick, their family members getting sick, hospitalized, there were actually some, uh, some real fatalities, uh, which was horribly tragic for the, you know, the contractors that, you know, were in that situation. We've had crazy weather, you know, hot, cold, wet, you know, dry, it's just been all over the place. There's been plenty of con real uh, drama going on, so I just haven't touched on that. But now we have an actual global pandemic, COVID-19 spreading all over the planet. And the reason I'm uh, talking about that today is because yesterday I was not able to be on site. I was bringing my boy out to get together with some of his friends. Uh, we did an outside play group instead of like, going to a children's museum or, or going to the library, you know, to try to, you know, be responsible and try to limit possible uh, you know, infection with the kids, uh, you know, if they're playing outside and stuff like that, it's much safer than being indoors with, in an air environment where people can touch and all sorts of things. Uh, and touching all sorts of things is what I'm concerned about today because yesterday, I, I kind of would have liked to have been here, there was someone from the Energy Auditing Commission or whatever, that I guess they checked to make sure you're spray foaming or whatever. They were here yesterday at one o'clock and I couldn't be here, uh, but they showed up and I, I don't know what they, looked at, I, I guess just checking off, making sure we're spray foaming around the windows, whatever. But when I got here this morning, doorknobs, obviously were touched by them. So I got some wipes, I wiped down the outside doorknob, wiped down the inside doorknob. And additionally, you know, when you got lemons, you want to make lemonade out of them. That's what I always say. It's like, you got a bad situation, at least make the best out of it. In addition to doing the doorknobs uh, and anything else that I feel they might have touched, which I, I don't know what the hell else they touched. I'm not going to clean the entire house, but I focused on the doorknobs. You know, this door itself, it's pretty dirty. So after I did the doorknobs, you know, kind of getting the, there's some mildew around here because this one is a double pane window. It, it's staying wet a lot. You know, I can go down here. There's still a spatter from the, the concrete work. And I do the same thing in my car. Whenever I get back in the, into the car after being out somewhere, I wipe down my hands. River wipes down his hands. And I've got extra wipes left. I clean up the car a little bit. I'm a busy guy. I never really clean my car. It's always dusty or dirty or whatever. So I take this and kind of like do the whole dashboard, do the instrument panel, all that kind of stuff. You know, at least you're getting something cool out of it. You know, it's, it's, you're not just cleaning your hands to avoid possible contagion, but you get a clean car, you get a clean house. So if you are doing some cleaning, just do a little extra cleaning, give yourself a little treat. And uh, yeah, it's like lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.